To this day, no matter what I talk about in my videos, from religion to politics or whatever else happens to be on my mind, some of the most common questions that I get are about how to do what I do on YouTube and how to get noticed. Now, for those of you that are new to my channel, I lovingly refer to my subscribers as the Crocoduck Army, and my channel is Crocoston. If you're new to the Crocoduck Army, you're seeing me after having already made over 100 videos, so I've had some practice, but you'll still never mistake me for a professional. Most of my earlier work is still up in case you want to see where I started. There's no substitute for just making videos and learning. If you pay attention to what you're doing, you will get better, but you have to put in the effort, otherwise you'll just be hitting your own like button forever, if you know what I mean. That can be fun too, of course, but it's usually more fun to get others involved. Before you embark on your YouTube journey, you'll need to understand that as with so much else in life, YouTube is not fair and your personal attributes or topics you enjoy may or may not work for you to get the attention that I'm sure you richly deserve. There are many interesting and talented people on YouTube of all descriptions, but if you're an attractive female, all else being equal, you'll get a few more subscribers, especially in this particular corner of YouTube, where the viewers are overwhelmingly male. There's no reason to let this bother you, so don't harass anyone that purposely uses this to her advantage. Besides, on the flip side, being a guy means you'll get fewer creepy sexual comments from your trolls. Wow, I really like your videos. Boy, you sure are hot. I sure would like to- Also, I highly recommend avoiding drama. That does not mean never doing ponage or never challenging anyone else's ideas in a video. I'm just saying that a channel based entirely on personal attacks is unlikely to get you very far. Either way, you either have to have some compelling or original ideas, or be very entertaining, or some combination of that. Having a decent video camera helps too. You can get a cheap HD camera for less than a hundred bucks on eBay, and decent editing software can often be found for free. I realize that these sound like obvious tips, but some people set up a grainy webcam with poor lighting and sound and expect you to get lots of views just because they have interesting things to say, and it almost never works like that. Pay YouTube a couple pennies per click to promote your videos if you have the money. I got my first couple hundred subs that way. Make some friends, make some response videos, go to your favorite YouTubers vlog TV shows. Carpe diem! That means fish of the day in Latin. Don't forget to leave the audience wanting more, too. Make your videos bite-sized whenever possible. Most of my videos are between three and five minutes long. There are very few people that can make a video that is consistently interesting for much more than five minutes. There are definitely some, but you probably aren't one of them yet, and I'm probably not either, quite frankly. You can see the average attention that your videos are getting by the little attention meter on your channel page, though I believe you need at least 500 views on a video in order to see that statistic. If the red bar on your video is less than halfway filled most of the time, then chances are your videos are too long or move too slowly and people are bailing out on them faster than the average video of that length. Work on editing and or scripting part of your work to shorten it up and quicken the pace. Remember, if people take the time to enjoy your entire video, chances are better that they'll watch another next time they're in the mood. Timing and frequency also matter. Optimally, you shouldn't let more than a week or so pass between videos. This keeps the momentum going and keeps people interested. I would do a three a week if I had time. If most of your subscribers are American, and that's true for most English-speaking YouTubers no matter where you live, then you should upload sometime in the afternoon or early evening Eastern US time to get the most views. If you upload in the middle of the night, you can expect to lose a third or more of your potential views because by the next afternoon, your video will already be buried under every other Tom, Dick, and Harry that made a video. Well, I hope these tips helped. Be sure to leave me lots of creepy comments. Thank <laughs> you.